for you to tell your allies and others in the community, because we saw all races at your protest. What is the message for what they can do right now in this moment? I would say to not be blind to your privilege. Um, if, if you are in a white ally, please do not be blind to your pri privilege and please acknowledge that you have been given an ad advantage over the people around you. And I think that they would greatly appreciate that. Dave, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for what you're doing and we hope to see what you do next. Of course. We have seen many leaders praise these young people for their incredible efforts. We now want to expand the conversation to an organization focused on systemic change. We want to welcome Mona Tawatau, legal director at the Equal Justice Society, a nonprofit here in Oakland focused on transforming the nation's consciousness on race through law, social science, and the arts. Mona, we appreciate you being here. Certainly George Floyd is what spurred many of these protests, but this isn't just about him, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Michael Brown, the list goes on, unfortunately. Explain to people why this is about a system of injustice. Thank you so much for having me. I just wanted to join other people in, in praising uh, Xavier Brown and, and other leaders of the, the protests. Um, we owe them, the world owes them a debt of gratitude. And I wanted to, to tie systemic racism to, to the protests themselves because what we're seeing is the protests are not only a, an appropriate and necessary outcry of anger, but they're actually leading to systemic change. Like uh, we know in Sacramento, uh, the protests have led to uh, the police uh, department um, saying that they're going to stop using the carotid um, restraint, the, the horrible uh, tactic that uh, was used to, to suffocate George Floyd to death. So I want to tie systemic change to the protests themselves and also you know, to respond to your question, equal, at Equal Justice Society, we are uh, transforming, we are uh, working on systemic change. One of the issues is that we have, uh, unfortunately, police in our schools. Um, school districts have, have uh, contracted with po police to have them in schools, many of them armed. I know that um, the Oakland protests are, are uh, demanding that that be stopped. I know that uh, students in Bakerfield have spoken to this issue as well. And um, what we do at Equal Justice Society, because uh, black children are viewed as dangerous because of years, uh, centuries of systemic racism, because they're suspended in um, really high numbers compared to other children. Uh, we have worked on, on that issue. And one of the, the things that needs to happen is that um, uh, police need, need to be out of schools the Black Organizing Project is work, has worked on this for, for years. Uh, we need to join with them and others who are calling for this to end because that ends up with Black students, Latino students um, in the system and, and harmed in very much in that way. Mona, I know we've been talking a lot about police reform, but we've also been talking about implicit bias. And we kind of saw that even going back to the global pandemic. When you talk about coronavirus and it, it, it affecting uh, communities of color. Uh, tell me about that and what EJS can do to combat things like that. Well, what EJS is doing and, and will continue to do is to recognize that um, we have the the 400 year pandemic of unaddressed racism against black people. Um, we have this pandemic that our state has so affected people of color, black people in our state. Um, black people we know are uh, twice as likely to die in the state of California uh, from the virus. Black, Latino, Asian American people have been uh, lost their jobs as a result of the virus at faster rates. And so one of the things that we are doing is working very hard on ACA5, which is an um, uh, um, uh, effort to restore uh, economic justice and fairness in, in hiring, um, in, in higher education and in government contracting. And so uh, we have tremendous momentum uh, to get uh, affirmative action restored. And uh, the governor recently um, 
recently endorsed and we have we still have to get this to the legislature it's going to be on the ballot we're working very hard to put it on the val ballot in november and that is something that pe people can do support that go to equal uh equal opportunity for um for all dot org and you can you can join us in in that fight and to make sure that we have um are bringing economic justice to uh, black folks in our state and um, people of color and women as well. Perfect. Mona, we have to leave the conversation there, but we greatly appreciate you being here and, and what your organization does as well. Thank you so much for having me. Coming up after the break, a conversation about calls to defund the police. A San Francisco supervisor and the police chief join me for a discussion. Stay with us.